David, the tax as it stands, one of the central design features is this 40% uh, credit. You, you were a banker for, for decades. If a miner came to you and said, will you lend against this IOU from the government, would you do it? Uh, well, I'd be, I would be more concerned about that now because of the, uh, what's happened with the, uh, uh, with the announcement of this tax. Uh, when, when mining companies go to uh, less developed countries um, with a poor track record of uh, rule of law and taxation, they generally seek uh, tax standstill arrangements, uh, commitments from government, and they also get uh, an acknowledgement of those standstill arrangements from uh, political parties not in government. Traditionally, that's not been regarded as necessary in Australia, and I think mining cap companies and companies generally understand that the general rate of company tax can move over time, but it's especially structured designer taxes that give rise to additional sovereign risk. And um, Australia has a good track record on sovereign risk, but if I could just go on a fraction more, Steve, um, the, the issue here is that for investors globally, sovereign risk is coming back into the picture as a larger issue uh, because of the massive issuance of sovereign debt around the world post-crisis. Uh, not, not just post, but before the crisis and especially during and after. As a consequence of that, uh, investors are becoming a little bit concerned whether governments will become more desperate and impose things that, might, that they might, might not otherwise have done. So for Australia to do this now is not good timing. And uh, if I was a mining company, I'd be extremely concerned that uh, tax is being taken off at the top of the cycle. Um, the, the, the best thing for Australia to do is to take a component of its corporate taxes that can be um, attributed to resource depletion and set it aside. In fact, you, you seem to be suggesting that um, uh, to some extent the tax is self-defeating in that it requires a level of um, sovereign trust from, in particular, financiers, but the way that it was introduced actually destroys that trust. Well, uh, yes, I think it does. And in addition to that, um, our starting point is a, a country that needs foreign investment. And notwithstanding all of our success, we still have a current account deficit, uh, you know, and a chronic current account deficit. And that has to end at some time in our history. The worst thing that can happen is that the resources run down, uh, we're still spending on welfare, and we still have a current account deficit. That would be, for future generations, a, uh, a seriously bad outcome.